Oh, hey there. You and I are about to go on a once in a lifetime pick. Let me give you a little more information about where we're headed. I'm driving over to the Edgewater neighborhood in Chicago, Illinois. I'm heading to a church there called the Epworth Methodist Church. It's kind of a good news, bad news situation. The bad news is that the church is closing after 130 years. New at 10, it's the end of an era in Edgewater. The historic Epworth United Methodist Church will host its final service this Sunday. Church leaders say they could not afford the millions of dollars in renovations the 130-year-old building needed. So they are selling it to a developer who intends to convert it into condos. The good news is that I get to go pick there before they close. It's a shame now, but a lot of churches are suffering the same fate as Epworth. The older congregations are dying off and the younger people are just not replacing them at the same rate. But this is going to be an amazing opportunity to go picking at a church that was built in the 1800s. And I can't wait to see what we find. This is a beautiful building built in 1890 on land donated by John Cochran, the developer of Edgewater. It is sad to see a sign like this sitting in front of an amazing building. This unique structure was built from stones brought over on a barge from northern Wisconsin. Let's take a closer look at the stonework. Let's head inside. This is a good start. Nice banker's chair, a small table. This is a smaller chapel adjacent to the main sanctuary, which I'll head over to shortly. Ooh, these are some beautiful lights. They told me all the lights were already sold. Lots of pews, nice table, lectern, organ. Here's a storage room for decorations and other supplies. I do like those windows. Nice heavy base. It was probably used for a sign or a flag. They want 30 bucks for it. I'll pass. Here we go. The main sanctuary. Beautiful woodwork and craftsmanship. I wonder where that stained glass window will end up. This looks like a nursery room. I've got no idea what this is used for, but I like it. More fantastic lights already sold. Here are some pieces from the wood pews. I already have a small pew in my house which I custom made from a much longer one. Let's head up to the choir loft. More storage space. Oh, that's an interesting trophy. Time to head downstairs. Old churches as well as older homes tend to have many smaller rooms, closets, and storage space rather than more modern architecture where there's an open concept. These are cool. I don't know what they were or what they were used for. Not sure what I could do with them, so I'll take a pass. 
Here's an office area with the music library, another office space. This was probably a real fireplace at one time. I think I'll head back upstairs to see what I missed. Here's a few interesting old lights. Pretty beat up, but that's my style. I'm gonna have to ask for a price on those. Oh, these look interesting and useful for something. They appear to be some sort of aisle markers. I think I'll snag those. I went on the last day of the sale, so a lot of it had already been picked through, but I was able to find a few interesting items that will live on. It was a great day picking at the Epworth United Methodist Church in Chicago, although a bit sad to think that this is going to get demolished to put up new housing.